But by the 1960s, it had all but rotted away. Then the oak was saved by Spike Milligan, who restored the tree and recarved the tiny fairy figures, which had almost disappeared. In saving the elfin oak, he saved himself. But now the elfin oak is in trouble again. The pain is too much. A thousand barbed winters are growing in my head, and in my ears the sound of the coming dead. All seasons, all same, all living, all pain. No opiate to lock still my senses, only left the body locked tenses. and everybody was doing it and I I was in a manic depressive state outside this world of depression and pain I was living in a magic world The elfin oak is the stump of a once mighty oak that was destroyed by lightning in 1898. It was originally carved by Ivor Innes. Using all the contours of the tree to make caves, towns, fairies, elves, witches, it was a little masterpiece. I've watched the tree go to the point of ruin. Finally, I decided that I would do something to restore it. The Elfin Oak was a milestone in my life. Every Saturday, it became another milestone and then another and went on with a hundred and others and I came out of it cured and happy. This is the Elfin Oak 1995. Hello. A brief visit to the characters on this tree. This king here in the blue vessel is King Humped Go Gobble, the king of all the fairies on this tree. And this one here was a very difficult one to sculpt because all there was of it was the bottom half. But I guessed that they would be kissing so I made them kiss. It was my masterpiece really. His hand is gone. Uh, this is the, uh, the fairy piper who teaches all the birds to sing. And in here, <laughs> a witch. There's the witch of the Wookiee Hole. And she has all nostrums making you better and worse. Very much like the National Health Service uh, at the moment. Makes me very, very sad to see it. It has a sort of its own mystique. And it used to be absolutely beautiful. It's in a, an appalling condition here. I think it's a sad state of affairs when with all the money knocking around like six million for Osborne House by English Heritage and yet nobody has done anything in 
30 years. That's given them plenty of time to think about it, huh? 30 years they let it go to pieces. We need 60,000 pounds from somebody out there to save the tree. In fact, it could also save me if it should be known. I went to a wood, and the deeper I got into it, the quieter it became. And I thought, if ever I get ill again, I'll come into these woods and stay here till I get better. <laughs> 